really know why, but I always film my videos with a white backdrop, which is the opposite wall in the studio. But I have this whole like artsy fartsy background that I'm never utilizing. <laughs> We're back with another unboxing. So this particular box is full of things that I don't actually usually buy and I don't usually promote or collect or am involved with in any way. This was from a lady who lives in Canada, so you know, when those opportunities strike, I usually pounce because I like dealing in Canadian funds and I like purchasing from Canada because they come in two days. What is it? What could it possibly be? I mean, the title of the video essentially gives things away. It was very difficult having to get through. It's taking way too much energy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. It's got glitter on its tail. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. So, so cool. So this is the Croy unicorn that Briar released. So she has an additional unicorn horn and she has lots of glitter and sparkles in her mane. And so I am not a fantasy collector. I have yet to have a single fantasy model in my collection, let alone a unicorn. So this is definitely the first one. Croy is one of my favorite Briar molds ever in existence. I just love her. So I have a pretty good conga, and this was one of the ones that I don't have, and I have spent time looking at her. I missed her on the Boxing Day sale. I've almost bought one a couple times. It's really cool looking, and it's glittery, and it's fun, and I need, I need more fun. I just need to be able to buy stuff because, like, it's fun to me. And if anyone has seen the set in real life, she does, in fact, come with a child. The child is super ugly. I don't know what Briar was thinking. Yikes. I want to name this horse Frog. <laughs> it looks like a frog. I don't know. Briar has this tendency of like releasing models for like nostalgia's sake and they're just not nice molds. This is one of them. It's just not a nice mold. And so it's the mom and baby setup and it's cute, right? But this mold just has no appeal to it. It's just lumpy and bumpy and I'm not sure how I feel. So my plan actually with this guy is I'm thinking I want to customize it into a donkey. It kind of has the proportions of a donkey already and it would take just like full hair, body hair texturing and some long ears and a new muzzle and a new eyes and I think he'd be really cute. So I think that's going to be my intention with him because he would have been so nice if they had just done it on like the new pony full would have been super cute. Oh, I broke it! Ah! Normally that would be like a moment of tears and crying. <laughs> So here's another unicorn. This is the Andalusian Mare unicorn and she's kind of like a coppery bronze color and she's actually quite nice. She's not bad for what she is. Like I was expecting her to be more ugly and she's actually quite pretty. They've done a good job of her eyes making them nice. And I think this was like a collector's club special if I'm not mistaken. So she was like exclusive. The whole thing about this though is this horse was sold to me as a body so I paid 25 bucks for her. I'm sure that that lady paid way more than that. She said she had a flaw. I don't see the flaw. But the main concern that we have here is that the horn is broken and glued back on several times. So we're just gonna rip that right off call it a day. So she is my second one that I have in the studio. I really like re-sculpting this mold. This was the mold I remade into Ghost. I have plans of actually making my own horse out of one of these and I always have plans for this mold. I like it a lot. It has a lot of good days. Eberl. You can't go wrong with an Eberl. This has been really fun. Um, this is like firsts for me that I love this unicorn. I am really obsessed. I really like her. She's really pretty. So this has been DJB. Thank you so much for watching and happy fantasy collecting.
room for her on the body shelf though. I wasn't allowed to buy more bodies until I customized more. That was the promise I made to myself. What can we attach this horn to? That's the real question. I should attach it to my Name Paymo horse. Should I scrap Name Paymo and make him into a unicorn? This is happening now. <laughs> so fun! I love it! He's so spicy with his little horn. The world of the unicorn. Hello unicorn, how are you? Okay, that's enough, I'm so sorry. Okay, bye! <laughs>